Harvey Newman. I'm a professor of physics here at Caltech. I head the high energy physics group working on the Large Hadron Collider. And we also have a network team, uh, software development teams. And in particular, I lead the team which is developing software defined networking for our field and in particular, open daylight. From the science point of view, uh, what we're doing is working at the frontier of high energies and as we access higher and higher energies, we can discover new things. Making those fundamental discoveries, understanding how our universe evolves, this is something which is of incredible importance for civilization and its progress. From the technology point of view, we're a sort of poster child of an open global organization and serving this collaboration and creating new kinds of systems which are able to do that and serve people throughout the world in groups of different sizes uh, has big implications for the world at large. Uh, whether you're talking about what life will be like in the future with, much, with every person dealing with much larger volumes of data or whether you're talking about corporate structures and how they deal with data, I think that these kinds of systems which we are developing with our partners have major implications for that, for the future technologically and in terms of uh, the world economy. Our scientific program is a global enterprise, and so networks are part of the fabric by which we do our work, uh, seek to make physics discoveries, and it's also the way in which we collaborate. Well, it's very important, particularly for a distributed community of scientists, to be able to get access, timely access to the data. So having something that's intelligent, that allows you to control the network so that it can uh, share it and make it efficient uh, for the needs of the scientists is very important. And that's where software-defined networking, in particular open daylight, are very interesting to us. So we began uh, working on SDN uh, together with some of our academic partners, such as at Stanford, with the NOx controller and then subsequently the floodlight controller that we also contributed to. Then with the rise of open daylight, we saw an opportunity in terms of a, a bigger um, set of open source developers with a larger scope and some very interesting applications and so we move to open daylight. We're interested in open daylight because it's, it's open source, uh, it's Java based, which means it runs anywhere. It's the de facto standard SDN controller. Uh, it supports OpenFlow, which obviously is, an, is another standard. Uh, so it looks like a very good choice for us. The cluster that we have here at Caltech and basically all the other clusters in the LHC grid there are Linux and uh, open source software and this is of course very important if you have uh, such a open community spread all over the world it becomes even more important to have tools that are open source like this uh, people can really collaborate. The open daylight movement is really uh, one of the leading examples bringing together many of the major companies that we actually deal with in, in various sites, in various ways, for various parts of the technology, to open up a new opportunity for working together to develop these new types of systems. Um, as academic and research people, working with open source products is just part of what we do. And uh, without that, it's much more difficult.